Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Ghostwire Tokyo. Okay, so last time we made our way to this shrine, and we found KK in his box and everything, and we rescued him, and then we, because we're now finally working together and everything, we found a new power that basically we obliterated all the, the visitors and everything that were here. So, yeah, pretty much that was it. So now we're going to go do some side quests, because we unlocked a bunch of new side quests. We also need to eventually make our way over to the giant pillar of light that's going to destroy everything, and... Yeah. Also, in the last part, I couldn't find the prayer breeds right next to this stupid gate right here. I'm really stupid. I should have just looked over here. I didn't... I don't know why. But this seems kind of out of the way for some reason, even though it's, like, bright and glowing. I just never thought to look over here. But anyways, pick these up. And then I'll probably replace the arrow ones for now because I don't use the arrows that much whenever I have KK's powers. So, I'll... No, I wanted to unequip these. Because the sleuth beads allow us to sense KK's investigation notes within a hundred meter radius, which is awesome. So now whenever I do this, see that little green orb is going to guide me towards KK investigation notes, which give lots of skill points. Uh, let's see, where is it going? It says it's this way. Let's see. Okay, where'd the little orb go? There we go. Sometimes it does it like just disappears immediately. Let's see. Okay, it says it's Oh, is that it on the table in there? How did I miss that? I was literally just in this building in the last episode. Then again, I was looking for the whatchamacallit. The Kiri Gaoka Vanishing. A report written by KK regarding people disappearing in fog. And 20 skill points. Sweet. So now if we go do this Oni mission, we should get our Magatama, and we should have enough skill points to get our ability to summon a Tengu for wherever we want. So are you the Oni mission? You are the Oni mission. You're standing really close to the fog, dude. People think Oni are these big, scary demons, right? But it turns out they're actually not so bad. Yeah. The word Oni originally comes from the word Onu. It means something unseen. In old times, when something terrible happened, people blamed an Oni what they couldn't see. Almost makes you feel bad for them. So, where'd you spot this Oni? Well, there was this dog over there with a bandana. So I gave him a Kibidango. Then he just called out the Oni. A dog who likes Kibidango. Sounds well, just like that old fairy tale, Momotaro. So what? We've got a dog now? Give me a break. Wait, are you more worried about the dog than the Oni? Me? Hell no. Okay, take it easy. Why is he so against being a dog person, I wonder? Oh, is this the, the Kibidongo? Yep, it is. Yokai information wanted flyer. Seeking eyewitnesses. Why witness information regarding Yokai pays 10,000 yen, minimum guaranteed with proof. Secrets never shared with others, especially welcome when in doubt. Call signed E, and then they list the number. Okay, so there should be a dog with a bandana. That'll lead us to an Oni. Okay, oh, there's a dog with a bandana. Uh, must be our dog. Love the bandana. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, Mutt. Know where we can find an Oni? Sure, but could you give me some Kibidongo first? Uh, sure thing. Here you go. Yay, in that case, follow me. I'll show you where the Oni lives. Why do I feel like this is a trap? Then again, the guy said that he did the same thing and it showed him the Oni and it didn't seem like it was a trap, so maybe it's not a trap? You okay? Right here. I'll call it out for you. Oh, thank you. Huh? What's this strange scent I'm picking up? What are these things doing here? Okay, so it was a trap, but not necessarily a trap for us. How dare they try to hurt the doggy? That's just mean. Building Resonance. Raise your Resonance gauge by extracting cores from enemies or by using Quick Purge. Once it's full, you can use the Wire In ability. Okay, sweet. So it's kind of like an ultimate ability. 
Ooh, they came back fast. Ooh, she's not playing around. Leave the doggy alone. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Come on, leave the pooch alone. Ow, what the heck? I am protecting the dog, KK, hey, okay, but if I die, there's not going to be anyone to protect the dog. Here, I'm not going fast enough. I can do this. Sweet. Let's get rid of this annoying one. Oh, whoa! She got up fast. Okay, where's the last guy? Oh, he got close, and I wasted a fireball. Dang it! Can't shield forever, and I got plenty of wind bullets. Yeah, that could have went better. You okay, little buddy? Let's get the dog to call out the Oni. Better get my ether back in case there's another one. Another ambush. Looks like we're good now. Okay, I'll call him out now. Oh, you stay pretty calm, doggy. Whoa, okay. It's a real Oni. It's been awful. Those guys kept coming after me. They wouldn't leave me be. You're after your power. That's why they attack you. If you give it to us, they should leave you alone from now on. Is that okay? Think you can trust us? Sure, I trust you. I hate fighting anyway. Go ahead and take my power. I don't want it. It is done. Thank you for your aid. Okay. Thank you, Oni. Bye bye. Mission cleared. We got our Magatama. I'm gonna go back to that guy and tell him we completed it. Even though I don't think I have to, I just like doing it because then it makes them disappear from the map and everything, the, the apparition. Well, did you see it? It's actually pretty nice, right? Thank you so much for believing my story. There we go, so now they're gone. And then now I want to skills. Ooh, we got 75 points. Okay, it's this one, right? Yep. Spend the Magatama, and then I have 45 points, which leaves me with 30 points left, which is awesome. Oop, wrong button. So now I can call Tengu wherever I want him. Um, I think I want to get the charge thing, because that was killing me, that last thing. There we go. Hey, that's not half bad. Okay, so now, where do we want to go? Okay, so we're supposed to start heading up this way and clearing these shrines out. We also have side quests all over the place now, so we can go... We can either start down here... Or we can start with, like, this one. Um, let's go ahead and do this one, because we're pretty close to it. Just gotta go around the long way, because there's just a random fog patch in the center. Actually, let's try out our new Tengu thing. Can I get... How high can I... Well, actually, I don't want to... I don't think I want to get up there, because it looks like that's areas in the fog, possibly. Yeah. Um, maybe up here? Can I get up there? I can. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that's gonna really come in handy. Ooh, there is a bunch of stuff over there. Can my Tengu get me over there? Maybe I need to get up a little higher. Be even with it. I guess he can get me over here. Sweet. Okay. Take this guy out. Take this guy out. Sweet, sweet. Get up here. There we go. Luckily, I don't think the guys over there have long range. At least I hope they don't. They don't, right? 
Nope, they do not. And... Oh, come on, that should have done something. He's hiding behind his friend, I'm sure. He's just like, go ahead, kill him. That was twisted. He like went and hit behind him, so I'd have to kill him first to get to him. That was twisted. I wonder if they did that on purpose or if it was just a pathing issue, because if they did it on purpose, that's a pretty cool feature that they did where they'll hide behind each other. Dang, I was trying to see if I could get both in one, but it looks like I can't. <laughs> just some feet sticking through the floor. There we go. Okay, so let's continue back the way we were going. Oh, there's still more spirits up there. Chengu! Oh, that was a really bad idea. Oh, crap. Let's see. On. I'm like cornered. There we go. And quick purge on the ground. Done. Okay, remove their affliction. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I went back up there. Can I... Can my Tengu reach? Tengu? He can! Oh, sweet! Oh my gosh, this... I love this ability. This makes this so much easier. Okay, so we're needing to go this way. Oh, thank goodness. I definitely think I need to upgrade the gliding next. Because we're traversing. I say as I totally fail at the gliding. There we go. Up. Let's see. Because now that I can traverse rooftops easier, being able to glide and everything, like, for a lot longer is going to help. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so to the left over here should be the... Yeah, we're getting closer. Was that a tree? That looked like a tree. Yeah, it's a tree. Okay, where's its core? Right there. Ooh, almost fell off the edge. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Let's see. Okay, then we need to head over that way. Definitely need longer gliding. Ouch. Suffering might have caused some corruption. Can't just ignore it. Okay, so we're going back into the hospital. Yay. I wonder if the enemies respawned that were in here before. I'll take that as a yes, because I see them over there. The girl was supposed to be on the fourth floor, right? Ho, 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 ho. Really, 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 really. Stop coming towards me. Turn around, please. This visitor is a jerk. He's a real jerk. He's like trying to stare right at me. There we go. Yeah, just turn around. Come on, why won't that other one turn around? If she can turn around, I can get in there. There we go. 
Seriously, they both turned, like, right at the last second. That was messed up. Oh, no, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I didn't make it. How did he move so fast all of a sudden? It was like that last little bit, he just, like, ran. Come on, he needed one more hit. There we go. There we go. Well, that could've went better. I get some of my ether back, because I'm really low on wind okay, ether. Dang it, this it. sucks. Okay. Let's see. Okay, nothing here. We need to go up, right? Yeah, because it was the fourth floor, right? Fourth floor. Elevator going up. Nothing's here. Is this the room where my sister was? You okay? Thinking about your sister? Still yeah. I can't see the mirror. And what a coward <laughs> I am. You were doing something now, dude. It's, you know, it's better late than never, right? Okay, I saw something. Yeah, there's something there on the floor below me, so I need to get to the third floor somehow. Oh, hi. What was this? Paper crane. A square shaped piece of paper folded with precision into the shape of a crane. You're Misaki? How come you can't sleep? Corneal transplant. Maybe she's seeing the last thing the original owner of those eyes saw. There's a door on the third floor they always keep shut. Don't you worry. Leave it to me. A cornea donor and a strange door. We might find something at the third floor nurse station. Okay, so scary lady, third floor door always shut. Okay, so the bad guys are below me. Um, yeah, we already read this stuff when we came here, came here the first time. Okay, hi. Dang it, I was hoping to kind of sneak behind him. This isn't gonna work, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Nope, it did? It did work. It did work. <laughs> I probably really need to get the ability to just grab their core when they're right in front of me like that. Probably be safer. Is that a compliment or is that saying that I needed to be doing better? I'm not sure how he meant that. Sounded like it could have been both, either an insult or a compliment. for him to turn around and make a break for it. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Good purge. And quick purge. I'm on the third floor now, which also means that statue thing I found earlier should be on this floor. I might also need to increase my range of my vision stuff now, too, because I need to be able to see further for finding stuff. Because I don't want to miss out on anything. Okay, I hear him. Is he nearby? Okay, he's right there. Come on. Come on, before he turns around. Before he turns around. Quick purge. Stay down. There we go. I wonder where that room was below where we were at. I think it might be further this way. I really don't like being this low on ether either, but at worst comes to worst, I can always wire in to fully restore everything. I just want to save that though for an actual battle. Okay, I thought I heard something. Okay, I'm gonna go 
take care of him first. Nice and easy. The only one has to get hurt is you. There we go. Okay, where are these statue things I saw? There they are. I think it's a statue thing. What is that thing? It looks weird. There might be something about that girl in here. They are statues. Okay. I wonder what this is. I wonder why I didn't see those my first time through. She says statues. Statues of legendary Okinawan creatures with the power to ward off evil. Oh, they're cool looking. Okay, so my guess is the glowing book over here. Is that what I'm looking for? Kento Iwata Fatal Accident Report. Kento Iwata was admitted with a fracture in his right femur prior to his death. His treatment was progressing well and he was close to being discharged. However, in the early hours of July 23rd, his body was discovered in an operating room. The cause of death is unknown. No signs of external trauma were found. As Iwata was a registered eye donor, we are currently inquiring about patients in need of corneal transplants. At the time the body was discovered, there were reports of some extremely strange things happening in the OR. Given the large number of similar eyewitness accounts, Access to the area will be restricted for the time being, and the door will be locked with a passcode. Passcode is 74398. I think this Owada person might be Misaki's cornea donor. Uh, no, we read all this stuff earlier. Now. Yeah, we read all this Let's stuff earlier. On that sealed door. Again, the continuity in this game is awesome, because all these little notes and everything we read before whenever we were here in the hospital the first time, it's just we didn't have a mission associated with doing anything with it, so we just got the get some backstory information so it's pretty cool that this all happened around the same time but with that being said we are going to end this part here next time we're going to continue through that door and go find the scary lady not looking forward to that battle but yeah and that's pretty much it and then we'll continue with more side quests and everything because like i said we have like two more side quests after this one to do and then we'll continue unlocking stuff and with the main story and whatnot and yeah Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!